Hi, my name is Dan, and in this lesson I will be teaching the basic techniques for editing in Reaper, including zooming, cycling, trimming, splitting, using the grid, fading and cross-fading, merging, adding markers, naming and coloring the tracks. There are different types of zoom in Reaper, and they can all be used with different combinations of mouse and keyboard. To zoom in and out horizontally, simply use the scroll wheel on your mouse. To zoom in and out vertically, use your scroll wheel while pressing Ctrl. To zoom to a selection, press Ctrl and the plus sign, or Ctrl and page up. To zoom out again, press Ctrl and page down. These last two commands require a numpad on your keyboard, so if you are using a notebook that doesn't have one, consider adding a custom shortcut or modifier key to make it more efficient. To set up a cycle, left-click the top bar in your track view and drag the selection to the desired length. Also, double-clicking will set the selection to the entire length of the project. You can also modify the selection by dragging its corners back and forth. You can then toggle the repeat option in the transport section or by pressing R. Trimming, also called edge editing, is done by left-clicking on the region's border and dragging it to the desired length. Splitting, also called separating or cutting, is done by setting the cursor at the desired cut point, right-clicking the track and choosing split items at cursor. Also, a more efficient way to do this is using the shortcut S. Reaper has a global snap function that is really useful when moving regions. Snap can be enabled by clicking this magnet-shaped icon or by pressing Alt and S. This will allow you to move regions according to the predefined grid, which by default consists of measures and beads. You can adjust the resolution of the grid by right-clicking on the grid button. You can also temporarily turn off snapping by pressing Shift while moving the region. Fading can be quickly applied by going to the upper end corner of a region and dragging the fade to the desired length. You can also change its shape by right-clicking it. Notice how the waveform changes in real time while performing this task. Reaper has an automatic option for crossfading, which can be enabled here or by pressing Alt X, which allows us to create automatic crossfades when overlapping two regions. The length of the crossfade can be adjusted by dragging its center, which changes the shape of the crossfade, or one of its fades, which changes the length of a single fade. You can also double-click it to set more advanced options. Merging, also known as consolidating or as in Reaper gluing, is done by selecting the regions we want to merge down to a single audio file, then right-click them and select glue items. Remember that this action is destructive editing, but it can still be undone in your current project. To add a marker to your project, right-click the top bar and select Add Marker, or else use the shortcut Shift-M. A window will pop up where you can set name and color for the marker, fine-tune its position and assign a unique ID. To edit a marker, right-click it and choose Edit or Remove. You can also double-click it to edit, or Alt and click it to remove it. To set the name for a track, double-click the grey area to the right of the record arming button. To set a color for the track, right-click it and choose Track Color, Set Tracks to Custom Color. 
You can also let the program choose a random color by selecting the corresponding action or choose an image to set as the track icon by going to track icon and then set icon.